run to Dollar Tree and grab eight coils of nautical rope. I also pick up two of their pumpkin wreath forms. I start by adding some hot glue to the wreath form and begin to tightly wrap the rope around each spoke of the pumpkin. I continue doing this for all of the vertical sections. I do the same for the other pumpkin. Now I'm cutting off the excess rope. Then I use some thin floral wire to attach both wreath forms together. Using more hot glue, I start from the bottom and wrap the now connected edges with my rope. Once I have the entire outside of the now three-dimensional pumpkin wrapped, I grab some thinner white cotton rope and wrap it around the wonky stem. Next, I place the wrapped pumpkin into a shallow basket. So I clip a few of these and I head back inside. I just tuck my hydrangeas into the gaps in the finished pumpkin to lay in the basket. I hope this inspired you to bring a little bit of fall into your home this week. I picked up these three little wooden crates. So I've mixed up some brown milk paint that you just want to water down. And I want to make sure that I paint all sides and the inside. While my little crates are drying, the paint are these little gourds and pumpkins that I picked up at the dollar store. So I'm just going to take some of this pearl metallic paint and I just want to kind of brush it all over these. I'm just going to put some hot glue on the ends and I'm just gonna slide them together and hold them while they dry. I wanna add some of this beautiful ribbon that I found. So I've gone ahead and made a little cut in the end just to make this a little nicer. Attach this down. I'm just gonna take my knife, mark off where this would hit the top, and I'm just gonna trim it a little bit shorter than where that is. I'm gonna put a little bit of the hot glue, just a couple dabs down at the bottom, and that will hold my piece of foam right down there in place and it's time to start filling those crates with some fall flowers and don't forget we have those little gourds and pumpkins that we added the white pearl to and we can add those in as well. You want to grab some moss to finish this off. These little crates were perfect to turn into a fall centerpiece. It was quick and easy and I absolutely love how it turned out. Picked up several of these styrofoam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to pull the stems off. I'm going to take my green paint, I'm going to do just a little veining down the indentations, put our brush in the orange paint and pull it down over that veining but it's just gonna soften those lines. I grabbed a couple of these garden dishes from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take them out and spray paint them. I am going to start by gluing one pumpkin down to stick one of these little stems back in here. I'm just gonna take one of these skewers, cut that and stick it. Go back in with our glue and secure it. And then I'm gonna add one more pumpkin to the top. I'm using low temp glue because this styrofoam will melt. I'm adding candy corn to the bottom. We have pumpkin placemats and everybody gets a little jar full of candy corn. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up some of those styrofoam pumpkins and make some of these for yourself for these holidays. We're gonna grab four pumpkins and we're gonna pull off the little stems. We're gonna take the small one, put it on top and grab a taper candle. The taper candle is gonna be the guide to make a hole. Then you're gonna take an X-Acto knife and you're going to take out the area that you just drew and see it fits perfectly. So put a big blob of glue and put your little pumpkin on top. So we're gonna grab two little wooden rings, put that at the bottom and now they are totally stable. So now we wanna take some faux branches and make this really festive. You're gonna grab your hot glue and put little dot of glue in between the two pumpkins and start adding in your pieces of the branches. And these are just some mini pine cones. And we're just gonna hot glue those in a couple areas on our candle holder. And they're ready to display. Look how cute they are. I set up a little table arrangement on my outdoor dining table and I think it looks super festive. What we wanna do is take our foam pumpkins and we're gonna remove these steps. Just push them down until you have them pretty flat. So we've got our two plates, our two pumpkins, and we're gonna use epoxy. So I'm gonna put a nice generous portion on the bottom of my plate here. And I'm going to take my pumpkin and just stick it to the bottom of my plate. And then all you need to do is leave it and let that epoxy dry. Now that I've let my two sides sit for just a minute so that the epoxy starts to dry, and I want to, again, put a nice generous portion of the epoxy and mix it up to each side of the pumpkin here. And then I'm going to attach my two sides together. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful bronze paint. Now I want to take a little bit of gold and I'm going to just lighten this up a bit and give it some highlights. Here you have our beautiful 
fall pumpkin inspired cake plate. We're gonna start with two bins, some pine cones. I'm gonna go ahead and start by pouring my bleach into one of my bins. Be very careful when pouring your bleach. Start very carefully adding your water. Four parts water to one part bleach. And now I'm going to take my pine cones and you're just going to go ahead and put them all in your bin. And now I'm going to take my empty bin and set it right on top of the pine cones. My gallon water container, and I'm gonna set that on top, and my gallon bleach container, and those will weigh the pine cones down so that they are now submerged. Leave those for 24 hours. As your pine cones start to dry, they're gonna start opening up. Start with a big piece of this brown paper. Started with a couple of rough cut wood rounds, and I'm going to start tucking these beautiful pine cones. And then I'm gonna add some of these dried grasses in some pieces of raffia and tied them in a knot. And then I'm going to mix the knots in. So my table is set and my beautiful bleached pine cone centerpiece is the star of the table. So I'm going to start with these. So I'm going to use these four chargers, some birch logs, um, this kind of pine cone garland. So I'm going to put that down first. And then I'm going to intertwine it with my birch logs. And I'm just going to work these in to our garlands here. I'm going to tuck some of this down in to give us some more texture. I have a whole bin of bleached pine cones and I'm going to add several of those. This cute little sign. I'm just going to try and add that right here these cute little, I think they're supposed to be Christmas ornaments. And I'm just going to tuck those in around. And the next thing I'm going to do is add my dinner plates. So I'm just going to use these orange napkins, tie them in a little knot, and just put them right like so. I have a few wood slices around, so I'm just going to tuck them. We're gonna add wine glasses. Made little appetizers into little campfires. How cute are those? And I'm just gonna set those right on top. I'm gonna to go ahead and set this. Nice little camping tablescape. Like I said, it's something you could use for lots of different occasions and you can mix it up a little bit differently. If you're not familiar with these paper runners, they are fabulous. Any paper can do. This actually is an antler that my husband picked up. I'm just going to start with my centerpiece and just tuck these white pumpkins. I'm just gonna start tucking these in around our pumpkins. I have some various feathers and I'm just going to tuck these into. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my table. When you put these down, and then I put my dinner plates on them, and I just thought it added another texture. So what I'm going to do with just setting my table to six green cloth napkins, and I'm just going to take them like so and pull them right through my napkin ring. I'm gonna go ahead and add my flatware, and I will just pop him here at the end of the table. Crystal stemware to each place setting, and we will be ready to let people come, get in line, and head to the kitchen to eat.